brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Guam has, a, has an incidence of 130 women diagnosed, newly diagnosed of cervical cancer. According to Guam Breast and Cervical Cancer Program Health Educator Rachel Ramirez, data collected in Guam from 2008 to 2012 shows that certain populations have varying incidences of the disease. And in all this, um, the Micronesian res re residing in Guam has the highest incidence. Among those, the, among the among the population in Guam, followed by the Chamorros, and and also the Caucasian. While cervical cancer was at one point one of the leading causes of cancer deaths, an increase in Pap tests over the past 30 years has led cervical cancer death rates to decrease by 50 percent nationally. Because of the success of early screening and detection. Public health is encouraging women in the community to schedule pap tests as well as tests for the human papillomavirus, the single biggest risk factor for cervical cancer. But while 79 million people are infected with HPV nationwide, many don't know they have it, increasing the need for additional testing. At least if they have been infected, uh, at least they can be treated or they can be cured or treated well, right? Because if not, this, uh, this HPV infection can lead into an abnormality in the cells of the cervix, which lead into cancer. Other risk factors for cervical cancer include smoking, use of birth control pills for more than five years, postmenopause hormone replacement therapy, multiple pregnancies at a young age, and multiple sexual partners. In line with outreach to the community, public health is also reaching out to healthcare professionals with a cervical cancer conference on January 29. Topics include cervical cancer data, screening guidelines, and treatment. Registration is free, and there are really great speakers that we have on board with really great topics. Um, so if you want to register, you can um, contact me. My name is Arlie Bonto again, and my number is 735-0672. Continuing education credits will also be available. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.